So this has been an interesting week. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are shifting things. This is the first video under the new name of Lydia's Journey. So I thank you for coming along on this journey with me and sticking by me through thick and thin. All right, this week has been a very interesting week because I have transitioned from a keto way of eating into a completely different way of eating. Um, after I made the decision to stop keto, it was after my carnivore challenge. So pretty much the month of March, I have not been keto carnivore at all. I started off with a new challenge for this past week. This is the end of my first week on this 45 day challenge that I decided to embark on with the help of Dominique. She's on TikTok and she's amazing by the way. And so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna jump both feet in and just see what this is about and try something different, something completely opposite of my keto lifestyle to see kind of like an experiment of what is gonna work for me and what's not gonna work for me. So what has this week been like? Let me tell you, the first thing I had to do was kind of wrap my head around something new because for almost five years, I was checking the carb count on everything. I was not caring about how much fat. In fact, I was looking for cuts of meat that had the most fat in it. It, it was just a different flip for me. And so this week really, I had to kind of undo some of the old thinking that I had before and, and just try to rewire my brain a bit uh, to kind of embrace this new lifestyle and to go for it and to be, and it's okay if you're uncomfortable and it's different than what you've been doing, just like go for it. So that's, that's what I had to do. The first two days I will say, cause I'm gonna show you everything that I ate this week and show you the new way of eating. Um, but my first two days, I was kind of scared to eat. I mean, I know my calories needed to go higher. I was kind of afraid to like, do I incorporate carbs back fully? Do, is it just like some carbs? Should I keep it at a certain number? I was just a little confused. Uh, I, I, I would add bacon and then it would blow my fat macro out of the water. And I was like, okay, I don't even think I'm eating enough. I was going to bed hungry the first two days. And I was like, I don't think I'm doing this right. And so I double checked Dominique's videos just to make sure that I've calculated my macros. And sure enough, I was off like by three, 400 calories. And I was off by a lot on some of my macros. So I re reworked my macros um, starting on day three and continued on with the challenge. It was, it was a little bit tricky for me, you know, getting my bearings the first few days. Uh, but I feel like I found a groove. I started her workout program, which is no joke, especially if you don't work out. Like I don't work out as, I mean, I go for walks and you know, I might lift up a, dem a dumbbell here and there, but I don't do what she does. And so first day when I attempted, I like barely attempted to do what she was doing. My legs were jelly the next day. And then like, I did it again Tuesday, did what I could do and I was still feeling sore the next day. So even at my bare minimum, I am feeling the effects of her workout. She's no joke, but she's so motivating and so positive and she's so lovely that I will follow her anywhere. Um, and so I'm putting trust in her program and in her. And I know it's not gonna be overnight. I know it's gonna take process. So what I'm doing is I'm tracking all of um, my macros week by week. I'm not weighing in until the end of the program, but I am going to track my macros and we're going to show you what I ate this week and even give you my averages for the week. So, so let's just go into that. Let me show you what I ate and what this week looked like. Check it out. All right, my walk is done. I completed my 30 minute goal. I clocked in 40 minutes on my watch, but only 39 are registering. It's 11 o'clock, so I'm already halfway through my day and we've got 5,000 steps. The goal is to get between eight and 10 every day. All right, I am finally sitting down to eat. It is 1.15. I've got a like barbecue ranch or chipotle ranch, chipotle ranch salad. And I've got a carb, low carb mission spinach and herb wrap and i put some turkey egg white 
and cheese on the inside. And this is my first meal for today. All right, today's protein shake is almond milk, frozen strawberries, protein powder, and a little bit of sugar-free Hershey to do it like a chocolate strawberry protein shake. Look at that, it's all the way to the top. All right, here is today's dinner. I've got some brown rice, some broccoli, some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and just a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit of Alfredo sauce. Just finished 30 minutes on the treadmill. Um, a lot, oh, let me stop this. All right, 30 minutes. It's less than what I normally do when I go for a walk, but since we are doing weights today, um, I'm following the plan. All right, I got my work out in. I am making my breakfast. I've got one egg and some egg whites cooking on the stove. I've got some roasted red potatoes that I made in the air fryer. I bought this Too Good yogurt just out of habit, but now that I know, I'm gonna get the higher protein yogurt. I forget how much this one has. This one has 12. I believe the Oikos or something has 20. Um, but I'll have that today. I'm going to do some um, bread. This is the bread that I bought, again, out of habit. Now that I know better, I'm going to go to the store and get some killers, uh, Dave's killer bread or some uh, Ezekiel bread. All right, here is what my first meal for today looks like. I've got roasted potatoes, the eggs, the yogurt, the toast. So this is what my plate now looks like. I do have some no sugar added ketchup for the potatoes. I've entered all of this into my macros and this whole meal comes out to 33 grams of protein, 11 grams of fat, 31 carbs and 389 calories. What's not shown is the coffee that I had before I sat down to eat this, um, but this is what this is what it's looking like. It is almost two o'clock and I'm sitting down for my second meal of the day, which is lunch. I've got some brown rice, some black beans, some fajita peppers, uh, some chicken thighs with the skin, uh, the sour, light sour cream, and some Frank's Red Hot. It is 6.11 and I'm sitting down for my final meal of the day. I have a wrap in this Mission Low Carb Spinach Tortilla. I've got this salad. I want to say it's like a buffalo ranch salad with some chicken and some cucumbers. And that should be it for today. It's like a big taco. Ending my night with a bowl of watermelon and blueberries. All right, it was a little late start for me. It is 11.15. I probably should have eaten this a couple of hours ago but I am adjusting to this new uh, lifestyle. All right, so we've got our breakfast ready to go here. I've got a muffin, an English muffin. I do have a half a slice of New York white cheddar, some ham, an egg. I've got roasted red potatoes that I made in the air fryer. And then I've got a cheesecake yogurt with some fresh strawberries. I do have a little bit of no sugar added ketchup for the fries, but this is my first meal for today. All right, it is almost three o'clock and I'm sitting down for my second meal of the day. I do not have fancy buns, just this bread with a big old hole in the middle of it. This is actually um, light mayo, mustard and ketchup sauce. I put a turkey burger with some onion in the air fryer and made a little turkey burger sandwich. Got two pickles, got some Quest chips and some water in my cup. And then I still have another meal for today, sometime, later dinner. All right, I am sitting down for my dinner for tonight, which is spaghetti with lean meat sauce and some shredded Parmesan cheese on top. I had to rework my macros yesterday because I realized I was hungry because I wasn't eating enough. So I reworked them the way that the program that I'm doing <laughs> Uh, had told me to do and so I'm able to eat more but the hardest part for me is allowing myself to eat more just that diet mentality of like I'm not supposed to eat right now the intermittent fasting the uh, one meal a day the um, 
like it feels like I'm eating all day, which is so weird because while doing keto, I was not eating at all. Like I was eating like one meal a day. So it's just, just an, an adjustment that I'm having to go through today or on this new lifestyle, this new um, program that I'm doing. All right, it is 7.15 and I'm ending the night with my final food intake for today. So I've never had one of these rice cakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a rice cake just to try it. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. Drink my protein shake. I am done for the night. Uh, I still need to get a few minutes, minutes in of my walking. Uh, but then that'll be it for day three. And I'm probably the closest to my correct macros that I hit today, so yay. Good morning, happy Thursday. It is 9.52 and I'm making <clears throat> my coffee for today. I've got two tablespoons of my super creamer because I like it. I've got a couple of squirts of sugar-free white chocolate mocha and then some ground coffee. All right, it is no earlier today. <laughs> I just haven't been hungrier in the morning. Um, it is 11.30 and I'm sitting down for my first meal for today, which is exactly the same breakfast that I had yesterday down to the cheesecake yogurt, my um, McMuffin sandwich over here, and my roasted red potatoes. And this is what's kicking off my Thursday. All right, it is 3.30 and I'm sitting down for my lunch. I've got a turkey and cheese sandwich with some mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, and a bag of Quest chips. All right, it is 6.15. I'm sitting down to eat my dinner. I've got the same thing that I got yesterday, six ounces of lean beef marinara sauce and two ounces of the protein spaghetti and some shredded Parmesan cheese on top. All right, it is time for my protein shake. Let me tell you what's in it. I've got one scoop of almond milk, and then I've got a scoop of the Premier Protein and a scoop of the peanut butter powder. And I do have a tablespoon of this zero sugar syrup to kind of make like a s'mores type of protein i'm also having an apple cinnamon rice cake the kids tried these for the very first time this week and they both loved them who would have thought i may try and pick up a few other flavors just to see how they taste i always think that the chocolate ones with the peanut butter might taste really good finishing off my day with an apple cinnamon rice cake and a chocolate peanut butter protein shake Friday. It's been a while since I checked my blood pressure. Here is my right arm. Let's check my left. There's my left. 120 over 84. Really good numbers. Proud of myself. All right, I got my workout in for the morning and I am sitting down for my first meal of the day. I've got a meeting in like five minutes, so I've got to like eat this really fast. I can drink the coffee during the meeting, but I'll have to eat this fast. So I've got a cheesecake yogurt bowl. So what I did was I took that sugar-free cheesecake mix and mixed it into my 0% Faye yogurt, and I just kind of scoop it out. I topped it with blueberries. I have some toast, and I've got two boiled eggs, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. I've got my caramel coffee with the super creamer and some sugar-free whipped cream on top, and this is my first meal for today. All right, it is a busy afternoon. I didn't get a chance to eat lunch earlier, so it's 3.19. I just went grocery shopping and I bought myself my very first Core Power Protein Shake from Fairlife. This is really good. It tastes like, like chocolate milk. All right, I am making my dinner because it is 5.15 and I don't have a lot of time. So I've got two low carb, what are they called? Um, carb balance tortillas, pretty big ones. I've got some lean ground beef, some leftover black beans, and some leftover brown rice that I am reheating because our microwave broke and we no longer have a microwave. I do have some 2% Kobe Jack cheese and some sour cream. We're just gonna make some burritos really quick, really quick with some hot sauce. All right, here is the final look of it. Doesn't look super pretty, but it is what it is. We've got rice, beans, and ground beef, 
sour cream hot sauce and it didn't fit it didn't fit <laughs> so i had to put it in a little side bowl over here so this is dinner man i have not had a chance to show you what i've eaten today this is dinner um breakfast was just a protein shake because i had a meeting this morning it's a saturday i had to eat a ham sandwich with some quest chips on the road uh, for lunch on our way to a kickball tournament and now we have dinner which is almost five o'clock because i am heading out the door again but what this is is these low carb um, spinach wraps and i've got some buffalo um, ranch salad mix underneath it's so good and i made these little chicken tenders in the air fryer i just um breaded them with some breadcrumbs, the Italian or the garlic and herb actually, uh, and a couple of them on here. And this is it, this is dinner. All right, we've got about 200 grams of red seedless grapes. Good morning, happy Sunday. I am starting my day off with some 0% Faye yogurt, some strawberries that before they go bad, which I don't know if I'm too late and some blueberries. I am cooking red roasted potatoes. I don't know if you can see it in this new air fryer. All right, I am eating another breakfast sandwich. I've got one of these light multigrain muffins. They are 100 calories each. Put that into my app. I've got a turkey sausage patty underneath the cheese, an egg, and I've got some roasted red potatoes off to the side and this will complete my first meal for today all right i'm making a protein shake with two scoops of the premier protein and i want to say one or two i can't remember what i put in of this peanut powder with cocoa pb2 i have the regular one but this is a brand new one that i found and then i also put in a tablespoon of this with my almond milk mixture Let's see how it comes out. All right, I went ahead and added half a banana and see if that maybe thickened it up a bit. All right, it is dinner time and I am making a Mexi bowl. I actually made some Spanish rice. And I haven't put like mixed veggies in it in forever, so I tried that. I had a can of baked beans. I went ahead and threw that in there. And uh, this was fajita peppers. It's underneath here, right there. Um, so I have a little bit of fat-free cheese, some beef skirt steak, beef fajitas, about five ounces, some grilled onions, some baked beans. And this is my... Uh, dinner for tonight a mexi bowl so let's talk averages for the week now mind you my first two days were a little bit lower because i was a little afraid to eat more but i, I know i kind of have to like reverse diet i kind of have to eat at maybe maintenance to discover right now i I'm, i think i'm eating at a moderate deficit I, I i don't know exactly what my body is burning currently because who knows what my tab my, what my metabolism went through on keto or carnivore or fasting or one meal a day or you know any of the stuff that i had been doing in the past so i'm really literally flipping everything that i've been doing for the past five years and doing something completely different just to see as an experiment how it affects me and i can tell you right now my mental state i already feel great like i feel great i don't feel like i'm dieting i don't feel like i'm restricting myself i literally can have whatever i want i'm just tracking it so i know how much i'm intaking and making sure that i'm hitting more protein trying to get that protein in so I feel good. I don't feel restricted at all whatsoever. I'm a little bit nervous about going out to eat because I don't know how that's going to fit into my plan. But since I'm taking averages, I feel like, you know, eventually I'll be brave enough to, to try it and, and see how that works. But anyway, let's talk about my averages this week. Let's talk my goal. So my goals for this week were 171 grams of protein per day, 57 fat, and 148 carb. I'm talking completely flipped from what I used to do before. I was doing under 20 in carbs and my fat and protein were like equal, right? So this is completely different. 
and it's really helping me in in my healing of my diet mentality and my issues around weight loss it's been good it's been good so i don't know what's going to look like on the scale at the end of these 45 days but as far as feeling better about my choices and eating and not being afraid to eat and stressing over that kind of stuff it's already been a game changer um so yes my macros were 171 protein 57 fat 148 carb the goal and my averages were 152 grams of protein uh, 53 fat and 115 carb. So as you can see, I'm still under on all my macros. I don't know if that's just me afraid to hit that number. Um, because you know, I'm, I'm still like looking at calories and not knowing like, am I eating too much? My God, this is a lot of food. This is a lot of food. Is this okay? Am I even going to lose weight? Is it, you know, that, that diet mentality struggle that I've had over so many years of living my life that way. As far as goals for next week, so I do continue to follow her strength training plan as best of my ability. I feel so out of shape and old trying to do the things that she's doing. Like she's doing burpees. I'm like, oh my God, if I try to get down on the floor, I don't know if I can get back up. <laughs> I was like, this is, this is challenging. So I have to modify it just so I could do something. Um, because if it feels too difficult and I feel like I'm totally out of you know my element, I, it's easy for me to go, I'm just gonna skip that part of it and just, you know. But the whole point of being able to eat this way is because you're, you're working out in your body and your strength training and you're building the muscle. And so I can't eat this way and not build the muscle, right? So, and I can't build the muscle and not feel my body. So I'm trying to do both in the most healthy way possible. So yes, my goal for next week is to continue my strength training, to walk more. My average steps for this past week were 7,049. It's not bad, it's not bad. I mean, honestly, I was probably predicting it to be more like 5,000. So 7,000 is not bad. Um, I, I did go for a couple of walks earlier in the week, um, I think, two or three times, I can't remember. Um, so my goal is to just beat that amount of steps. So I wanna have higher steps on average for this coming week. And another goal for me is maybe to like either meal plan or meal prep a little bit more so I'm not guessing in the moment of what I'm gonna eat. So if maybe the night before, I do overnight oats or, you know, protein muffins or something like that. I'll have it ready for the next day and takes the guesswork out of me trying to piece together a meal, trying to hit my macros. What else do I have room for? How can I get my protein number up? Should I have a protein shake? Like all of those things that I'm kind of doing currently because I don't meal prep or meal plan, I'm thinking it will be more beneficial to me and my progress next week if I do. So that's something that I wanna do for next week. So the last time I tracked my averages, I, ironically enough, the last time I tracked my averages, I think I was doing carnivore that week and it was the same amount of calories as I had this week. So it's kind of a, a nice little uh, experiment to see that you know last week or last time i tracked it was last year I, I put all my averages in ate the same amount of calories but it was all protein and fat and this time i broke it up to more of a balanced way of eating so it's now carbs protein and fat um, that make up those calories instead of protein and fat so who knows who knows the effect we will see we will see how this works and it may not even happen in 45 days you know this the progress, I may not see the results until three months in or six months in, but you know, I'll have to work on my patients and, and just keep building that muscle and keep being active. You know, a body emotion stays in motion. So the more that I sit in this chair, the more I'm gonna wanna sit in this chair. So I need to make sure that my energy is up by fueling it, by fueling my body and, you know, moving more throughout my day. That is it for today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. If you are new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. Uh, and if you're not new here, I'd love to hear how long you've been around. Post it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, we are a new channel name. So let's have you subscribe now to Lydia's Journey. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you find out when all the videos are getting posted. I thank you so much for going on this journey with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.